Dirty cash, dirty cash. What are we live? No, just regular recording. That's awesome. You guys like that dirty cash? Hey, you guys. Ooh. It's your favorite realtor. Back at it again with another video. This time, I actually have my cousin in the building. Yes. <laughs> and we are counting dirty cash. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we're going to switch it up in this video today. Um, I know I always talk about real estate in all my other videos. I know this is a real estate page. But this time I wanted to talk about, well, my cousin and I wanted to talk about um, tips on saving money. And um, what to do with that money that you save, actually yeah. save. And uh, so I guess before we get into it, you have anything you want to say? Yes. Check out the brand builder. Mm -hmm. I talk about saving money, finances. And this is my cousin who's attached to me. Yes. <laughs> very much. I'm attached to her. No. She's my shadow and I'm kinda like a mentor to her. Yes, you are. Uh so she's got a wonderful YouTube channel. Um and I was thinking to myself when she told me she was making it, uh, you know, a next journey, uh, what better way to describe a channel than for it to be your journey because it's your story. Yeah. It's your experiences. Mm -hmm. It's your model. It's yep. what you want it to be. You know, it's it's up to you to decide what direction a channel wants to go in. Right. You know, so although you talk about real estate right now, we're talking about saving cash. So I noticed something particularly interesting about my cousin here, who's <laughs> on her it? journey. Yes. That you started saving money. Yes. And you started putting it in a jar. Right? Yes. So, what prompted you to do that? Okay. So, um. What prompt me to do it really would, um, I would say, would me just learning how to discipline myself and yeah. um, really, I mean, I dis I learn how to discipline. I mean, every day I'm learning how to discipline myself in all different aspects of life, whether it's um, just everyday things that I need to discipline myself about. But I thought saving money was something very, very important that I needed to discipline myself about because I tend to spend more than I save. <laughs> so I figured this would be... Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore, though. <laughs> so I feel like this would be a great opportunity for me to really just test myself and see how um, how far I can take this or how or if I can even actually um, achieve this goal. So I'm actually pretty happy to know that I can achieve it, and I did. I didn't necessarily set up a goal for myself when I did this. Cheetos. My just my goal was just to um be able to just save in general. I didn't have a goal on a specific amount a number. I mean a sp specific amount that I wanted to save, but I just knew I wanted to save, and I actually did pretty good. I saved about one hundred twenty six dollars in singles. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Just putting a dollar in a jar. Every time you get your change. Yes. I noticed there was bundles of like, you know, three bucks here and there. Mm -hmm. So every time you get money, you take it out of your pocket. Yes. And you say, using cash to save, it makes it real because you can yeah. actually look at it. It's tangible. You can, you can it. see it. And I'm yeah. a visual person. I don't know if you are. I don't know I'm if very visual. Any um, of my subscribers out there are visual learners, but I'm a visual learner. And yeah. It's just, it fits. It works. It's, it's a wonderful <laughs> thing. I mean, yeah. Me personally, you know, as far as assets are concerned, mm -hmm. uh, I'm very visual, you know, and like it's, you're doing real estate, you're a yes. real estate agent. Mm -hmm. And some of the people you might cater to might be looking for investment property, yeah. something tangible. Yeah, land, something tangible, yeah. And um, to get something in a form of rent, or maybe someone's looking for farmland or, yeah. you know. You're right. I, I like some assets that produce income. I, I was saying before how... You know, this is cool. You always want to get started like this, but after a while, you want to make sure that you start to uh, put this in a high yield interest savings account or some sort of tangible asset that gives you an ROI, which is a return on investment. Yes. Reason why is because the longer you leave this outside of the bank or some financial institution that give, that pays you, basically rewards you for uh, making money or putting money in their establishment or financial establishment, um, you're losing value. You're going backwards because of something called inflation. So I'd rather be earning on something like this than to be losing it. So always make sure that once the tangible asset is attained and you see that you can reach a goal, you, you go right ahead and get into the deposit mode. Um, 
after depositing it, allocate it. Allocate it meaning send it over to stocks, interest, uh, high yield interest savings accounts, or just savings accounts that gives you some sort of return on investment because it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It is. No, I absolutely agree with you. I mean, um, even he knows that we've been having, we have conversations about my goals that I had in terms of what I wanted to do with this money that I started saving up. And um, one big thing we thought, um, at first we was like, you know, we wanted to put it into my bank account. Yes. And then we decided on, you know what, why not just take it a little further and let my money work, uh, work for me since I work so hard for it. <laughs> yeah. And um, we decided to buy some stocks. Yes. So I'm officially buying my first stock today yes. with the money that i've saved which is really me not doing nothing it was just me coming home every day of me working or going out doing whatever i'm doing in my personal life breaking bills and coming home and just the change which was these singles and throwing it right in hennessy bottles <laughs> that's yeah. all and the markets are doing pretty good yes i mean uh from what i'm seeing we gained about two thousand points i'm um, looking at yahoo finance right now what are you what are some of your favorite um stocks uh, sometimes I, I talk about stocks kind of, uh, uh, I'm mostly reluctant to talk about it, but when I talk about stocks, uh, my, my thing is I, I like ETFs because I believe that it takes people at least an average of minimum of five years to get properly diversified. This mm -hmm. is not going to happen overnight. And ETFs are extra, like, uh, um, exchange traded funds. Yes. And what they do funds. is they own a basket of different companies that you might like. Um, so you're basically partnering with, uh, that exchange trade of fund. That is the business partner that you have. Mm -hmm. Your business partner is an investor and they're going to return you value. You're basically saying, I'm going to buy in mm -hmm. to your business mm -hmm. and you're going to return me some capital. Yes. Um, and we love capital. We yeah. love perpetuity. We love, what? we love money. We love capital and we love cash. Flow. We also love dirty cash. <laughs> That's I can't forget about dirty Not cash. Not only is it dirty, but it probably <laughs> smells right now. So who knows? Really bad. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna Mind use you. some hand sanitizer <laughs> when we're done. Yes, please make sure to sanitize your hands. Um, when exchanging money, I oh my yes. gosh, I promise you guys, regardless of whatever is going about on, the, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Regardless of whatever is going on, um, it's always important to sanitize and wash your hands when trading money. Money is so dirty in general. Money is um Some transferred down so many ways, pockets. and that's so right. Dirty pockets. It could be dirty cash registers. It could be dirty bank tellers. It could be anything wherever this money is at. You know, yeah. money is transferred down so many times that. You don't know what is on there, so make sure you wash your hands. Make sure you wash your hands. It's important. Unless you're dirty. <laughs> a dirty cockroach. So if you don't like to wash your hands, you're nasty. And it's just that simple. Wash your hands. Yes. Practice it. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Absolutely. So keep that in mind. <laughs> you guys have a fantastic day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yes. But, subscribe yeah. to mine and don't forget to subscribe to my cousins. But more importantly, hers. So <laughs> the definitely. brand builder, by the way. That's right. Don't forget. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick short video. If you would like me to make more videos like this, just let me know. Give me a comment below. I'm gonna give you a comment below. <laughs> Thank you, Kaizen. Give yeah. me your thoughts on what you thought about this video. Um, any comments, concerns, or questions, feel free to comment below. Um, also, give me a thumbs up Help if you enjoyed this She's video. She's a new YouTuber. So yes, check me out. Don't I'll... be a jerk. <laughs> Press the like button. Don't yes. watch and then run Like, away. subscribe, comment, and hit me up if you ever have any real estate questions. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Have a great weekend, guys. Ciao. <laughs>